Meanwhile, the Bayasa State uh, Deputy Governor, Senator Lawrence, has said the state is willing to be part of advocacy against excess consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages. He stated this during a one-day regional stakeholders forum on SSB task, organized by the Corporate Accountability and a Public uh, Participation Africa and the National Sugar Sweetened Beverages Talks a Coalition with support from the Global Health Advocacy Incubator in Yenagua. Why is Ayasa State to be willing to be part of this? But we believe that there are other dimensions to which we solve this problem. And that is why Bayasa State, as a way of trying to get a remedy to itself, we have introduced the weekly prosperity walk. Every Thursday, everybody in government take about five kilometers of work every day, Thursday. So we do that every week. And so you accumulate that for a period of one year, you will have known the volume of calories will have burned. That is not to mean that we are encouraging the consumption of sugar sweetening uh, beverages. But what we are trying to see, say is that behavior change communication will be a better way to solve this problem than because there's no way you can change people's behavior and stop them because you have increased the tax. Non-communicable diseases is becoming a major issue in our society. Some of them are not necessarily because of what we consume, again, because of what we don't eat. Representatives of the Ministry of Health and Environment from Bayelsa, Edo State, Rivers, Delta, Quibum, Cross River State, as well as civil society organizations participated in the forum, which was aimed to deepen conversations on how to improve public health. Transition in itself, I must explain, is a tool for behavioral change. And that has been proven all over the world in several of consumption-related patterns. And in my was just simply had, you know, Nigeria removes subsidy, and all of us know that the consumption of fuel has reduced drastically. Essentially, we are doing this at the regional level to be able to mobilize the region to the federal government to be able to say, yes, it is good you've uh, imposed a 10 era per liter, which is extremely insignificant on sugar sitting beverages, but we can do better by moving to 20% or maybe much something much, much higher. Tax is a win-win situation for everybody because uh, while on one hand you are improving health, on the other hand you are generating revenues that can go back to the country, come into the community and even earmark to health to improve our really poor and weak health systems in Nigeria. I just believe that there are many persons out there that don't really know exactly the constituents of sugar in the content of what we take from those beverages. So going out there for you know, health education, health advocacy, then educating our people on, health, on the other changes, we also help in reducing you know, the intake of those items and again, reduce NCDs in our, in our society. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.